Hi, welcome to a video tutorial from Equator. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. In this video, we are going to use this Casio FX991 ES Plus second edition scientific calculator to do complex calculation. Let's get started with this. To start uh, using this calculator for complex calculation, press mode and from this menu, complex, Number three, number two. Now you see here complex, so you know all the values that you have are in complex. And let's see, in some courses you will see, for example, x plus 5i or x plus j5. In this calculator, we are using i, and when you have i or j beside a value, either in front of it or behind it, it is the uh, imaginary part, and this is the real part. And to enter it in this calculator, we, for example, 8 plus 5i, 8 plus 5. For i, we press this button, ing button, because we are in complex mode, we just press it directly and it acts for our calculation. If I press equal sign, it comes here. So this is how you enter it on the screen. And if you want to enter uh, in vector mode, the real part, the, the magnitude and the angle, uh, I can press all clear, four, and for angle here, we press shift, shift, angle, and then 36. This angle it is directly related to the value here, this is degree, if this is not degree, press shift, setup, and from here, three, degree, and make sure it is degree. Now if I press equal sign, it to real and imaginary and this is 3.23 and if I scroll to the right you will see that I is here shown and if I press this button it makes it very easy and clear you can see it this value the real plus imaginary value here using this you can go back and Let's say you want to find argument of this value. When you do the argument, you are actually finding the angle for this value. To do that, we use this complex button, C-O-M-P-L-X, with the 2. So I press Shift and then 2. And here we have these uh, operations. 1 is argument. You see argument, the parenthesis is open. 8 plus 5 and then I close it and you immediately get the angle in degree it's very important if it is in radian you will get the radian value and let's say you want to convert 8.8 plus 5i to vector form so first we enter 8 plus 5i 8 plus 5i and then we press shift and then go to 2 which is a complex and here we select 3 and this says that convert this to R and theta, press equal sign. And if I press this button, it gives me the R and it gives me the angle in degree. Pressing it again, we'll go back to the screen. And we can put values in the memory. So let's say you want to put this value into memory. And let's say you have this value also in another memory and we have this value into memory to use them in your calculation. And let's say you want to put this in memory A, 5 plus 6 I, 5 plus 6 I, press shift and then store this button. Once you did, then all these memories will be available A, B, C, D, E, F, X, Y, and then also M. M is independent memory. I have separate video for that. So press A and this value went into A. Now 3 plus 5.9i, 3 plus 5.9i, and this one into B, press shift, store, this store is function of shift, so it now this is stored in B, and let's say you want to store this into B, first put uh, 5 plus, press this line, and, in, and the denominator 4 plus 2i, and with the arrow, the right side plus 5.1 i and then press shift store 
and then press press C. So all this value have been calculated, simplified, and stored here. Now to recall and use them for your calculation, to see them, just press recall A and it will give you the A. Recall B will give you the B and you can press this button to convert it to real and imaginary and recall C as well. You can press them and this is 1 plus 4.6i. And if you want to use them in your calculation, let's say B, just bring it and go with the arrow to the left and here you can multiply it, uh, for example, multiply it by uh, 6 and this is a value. And if you need a conjugate, here is how you do it. For example, A plus conjugate of B times C, bring uh, recall A plus conjugate, press shift, complex, conjugate is 2, recall B, close it, and then close that parenthesis in here, and then recall C. So what it means is A plus conjugate of B multiply by C and press equal sign and that's the value. And if you want it in decimal format, just press this button and it will be in decimal format. And if you want to convert this to a real and imaginary format, first enter the value for shift angle 36 and then we can convert it by pressing shift complex number 4 and in this case this format of vector magnitude and angle will be converted to real and imaginary format. Press equal sign and you will see it like this or press this button to see as real and imaginary. To access all my other videos related for this calculator, please check the link below the video in the description. Thank you for watching. This was how to use this Casio FX 9 ES Plus second edition scientific calculator. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos. Or press all clear, recall X and we got the exact value if you want 1500 and the answer is 7 over 3 and that's this is our integration and the area under the curve shows like this so from 1 to 2 and as you can see the answer is 2.333